Hey guys, welcome to the gear review. My name is Wyatt. What we're going to be going over today is the Teton Leaf Zero Degree Sleeping Bags. This is the Ultra Light. It is 4.2 pounds. So what we're going to be doing with this today is uh, we're going to open it up. This is how it came in the mail, this box right here. So we're going to open it up, pull it out on the table. We're going to take a look at it. And then later I'm going to take it out in the field. I'm going to test it one night. It should be about 35 degrees the night that I test it. So when we do that. And then I'm going to come back after I test it and give you my final thoughts and whether I liked it, I didn't, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we got the box right here. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. part of the box. Little cardboard protector up top there. So that's how it comes in the box. So looks like they got it just in the stuff sack. So we'll go ahead and pull that out. And in the box, uh, what's this? Backpacking and camping checklist. So that's pretty cool. Um, gives you a list of some of their other products. So I'll definitely take a look at that. That's really cool. So we got the stuff sack it comes in. So I got this little digital scale, so we're going to check the weight on it. Zero it out. All right, so it's zeroed out, set for pounds. 4.4 pounds. There we go, four pounds and four ounces. There we go. So it is hold true. What does it say on the box? Yeah, 4.2. So just a little bit heavier. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. It's got two big buckles up here on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that. Two big bu buckles. That's a unusual for a stuff sack, at least that I've seen. Got the cinch straps on the sides for your typical stuff sack. So high quality, real good, uh, real good feeling material. Definitely strong. All right, we'll go ahead and open this up. I'm pretty excited about this one. So stuff sack's empty, we'll put that off to the side. Move the box out of the way real quick. Let's do the first unroll of this thing. So I can't hear it making a crackling sound. It's, you can, I can hear the insulation pulling in air where it's been compressed for a long time. So I'm gonna change camera angles real quick so you guys can get a, get a good look at it. All right, so change camera angles. This thing's inflated itself a little bit. So let's get the seams lined up. Very, very high quality material. Extremely soft. You can definitely feel the, uh, I forget what they, the word they use for it, but the, definitely the foot box is a lot more insulated. It's more what you want because your feet get cold at night. I know mine do. So uh, internal. So let's open this up. The Velcro, we got an extra little thing so it folds back on itself. Let's open her up. Inside, oh wow. I gotta say, ooh, that's that, now that's nice. <laughs> wow, that's extremely soft, that's like silk. I'm just petting it right now, cause that's, wow. Yeah, you can sleep shirtless in this thing and that would not be a problem at all. So it's got the little uh, zipper baffle, keep your warm air in there, like they said. Um, zipper pocket. Yep, got the pocket. Um, pretty big, about the size of my hand. I'm, uh, I'm 5'10", so that gives you an idea for how big my hand is. Probably not, but it's a good size. Good size. Let me, here I actually have an iPhone. Yeah, so you can see the zipper pocket is about the size of an iPhone. Just a little bit bigger. You can definitely fit a phone and a wallet in there. And it definitely keep your battery from going dead overnight. All right, this does look really, really good. Looks like it's gonna be extremely roomy. Very, very nice bag. This is gonna be good. A lot of foot room, so I'm actually gonna slide in this thing real quick on this tabletop. But, I'll probably just cut to it. All right, guys, so I'm, uh, I'm in the bag. 
I most definitely have room down near my feet. I look ridiculous, don't I? But, uh, <laughs> this is easily the most comfortable. Oh, wow, this is, ooh, this, this, is, this is nice. Yep, I can go to sleep right now. If I actually slide my feet flush to the bottom of this bag and then lay flat, my face is about like right here. Right here at this point, that's my face. So anyone taller than me is, uh, you have, I usually have about, I have about two extra foot of space above my head there. So if you're taller than 5'10", you're gonna be extremely comfortable in this bag. So I'd say you'd be good to your about like 6'3", six, maybe, 6'2", six, 6'3", six, somewhere in there. But internal fabric, extremely soft. This is crazy comfortable. But I can't wait to see how this thing performs in the field. And I'll see you guys there. Ugh. Hey guys, it's Wyatt. I'm back. And it is pouring the rain on me right now. Uh, I am filming this on an iPhone 5, so I do apologize for audio, video differences. I do not know if I'm even in frame right now. I have no idea. <laughs> but, um, so sleeping bag right now, it is 50 degrees right now. It's going to take a dive to 40 to drop 10 degrees. I wish I could have gotten a colder night, but it's only going to get warmer. That's Kentucky weather for you, so we got a nice cold snap, so I uh, took the opportunity. So, uh... It's not zero degrees. I know it's rated for zero. We're not going to get that test in this time, but that will most definitely be a future test. But um, 40 degrees. So right now at 50, the bag is warm. I'm actually, uh, I'm not sweating, but it's uh, it's starting to get to a little bit uncomfortably warm, which is good. It's better than being cold in my opinion, but if you don't like to be hot. But the cool thing is I found a solution to like a, I'm, this, I'm going to use this for my year-round bag. I'm not going to switch it out for anything else. Um, I just like to keep one bag and just keep up with that one bag. That's just my own personal preference. But uh, the solution to being a little bit too warm is a neat thing that Teton built into this bag. As I'll show you right now. So, at the foot of the bag, I already unzipped it because I was a little bit warm. But, um, see the zipper goes from the bottom there and it comes up. So I could actually zip this in reverse. So what that allows me to do is if I get too warm, I just pop my feet out the bottom of the bag. So there you go. Problem solved. I'll be sleeping sound all night long. Also, regarding sleeping sound all night long. So if I ever get woken up during the night, so that's not talking about noises and sounds and stuff. So if I get cold, you know, I always wake up when I get cold. I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but uh, if I get cold and I wake up, I will pull the phone out and I'm going to record a clip. I'll tell you which section of the bag got cold, whether it was, or my whole, the whole bag is too cold, feet, you know what I'm saying? Just different stuff. So, I get cold, there will be a video clip. If not, and all goes well, uh, you guys will see me in the basement. I'll give final opinions, uh, different things I noticed, and yeah, we'll wrap it up. So, um, if all goes well, see you guys in the morning, and that's all for now, I think. So, see you. Hey everybody, welcome back. From the, all right, so we just field tested this. So, one feature I found that I did not know was there before. We got the zipper at the bottom. It was a little bit warm there at first. Open up the bottom, kick my feet out, no problems at all. So it was 40 degrees, so a little bit warm, it's understandable, it's a zero degree bag. I think they said add 20 degrees to 30 degrees for comfort. So we will be revisiting this in the future. We're going to get a 30 degree test on this bag. So I'll give a later review again, a little probably two minute video summary how it did at 20 degrees or 30 degrees, either or. Thank you everybody for watching. And this was Gear Review with White Napier. So I'll